Welcome back to the picturesque valley, surrounded by towering mountains, where trees bloom with colorful leaves. The town of Enchanted Valley invites you to another adventure of our brave heroes Liam and Noah. Of course, their parents can't be missing either. After all, the boys are eight and four years old. In today's episode, our brave heroes are getting ready for an unusual picnic organized in Enchanted Valley. Do you want to know what kind of unusual picnic it is? Then listen up and let's begin. The weekend in Enchanted Valley passed peacefully for all its residents. The weather was perfect and most of the inhabitants spent their time outdoors. Everyone enjoyed such weather because a military picnic was scheduled for Sunday. Yes, real soldiers were going to visit our town along with all their equipment, tanks, rifles, and even a real military helicopter was supposed to appear. That's why the boys were excitedly asking their parents when they were going to the picnic since early morning. After the morning routine, breakfast, washing up, and getting dressed out of their pajamas, the whole family was ready to go. Taking advantage of the sunshine, our heroes, like most of the residents of Enchanted Valley, set out on foot to the picnic in the nearby park. Approaching the park gate, there was a great commotion and enormous military machinery could be seen. There were plenty of food stalls, sweets, cotton candy, and on the other side, there were bouncy castles, a carousel, and swings. In the middle were tanks, armored vehicles, and other military stuff. The boys began to explore, enjoying the children's attractions. They slid down the bouncy castle, ate cotton candy, but they liked the military vehicles the most, especially the tank. Unfortunately, they could only admire it from the outside, and the soldiers didn't allow anyone inside. Time passed quickly, and the boys admired the military giants with fascination, which caught the attention of the soldiers who approached our heroes, showing them their equipment. Bulletproof vests, rifles, pistols, and various military gear. Suddenly Liam heard something, some squeaking, Noah too, and they both looked at the place where the strange squeak was coming from. It was a little yellow duckling, stuck in the mud, not far from where they stood. Even though one of the soldiers was showing them his rifle, both brothers rushed to help the little duck. The boys quickly freed the duckling and noticed the rest of the ducklings, squeaking behind the fence. Liam quickly transferred the little duckling to the other side, reuniting it with the rest of the duck family. The military soldiers noticed the bravery and kindness of the brothers. The soldier, who was talking about his rifle, invited them to a demonstration of military skills because he saw how much the boys liked the rifle and yet, without hesitation, they rushed to help the duckling. Liam and Noah proudly accepted the invitation. Then, the soldiers told them the story of how important courage, friendship and helping others are, even in the most difficult situations. And as a thank you for their selfless help to the duckling, the soldiers put the boys in the tank, showing them its interior. They even allowed our heroes to look through the periscope with the sight mounted on the tank barrel. The brothers returned home happy and full of emotions. They understood that even the smallest help can make the world a better place, and they promised each other that they would always be ready to help anyone in need, whether it's a human, a dog, or a chicken. See you in the next episode. Music